What up, what up, what up? Welcome to another episode of Muscle Cars More. And as you can see, man, today, I'm out here with my brother CJ on 32s. Y'all know what it is, man. Check out my crib. Yep, check out his crib, man. And we're about to do a full on comparison between his brand new RT versus the Hellcat. Now, he has decided to switch over to Challenger for this next build. Hold on, just for this next build. I'm not saying he Mopark squad all the way, but I'm saying he's picked up a Challenger. Tell him a little bit about what you got going on with your Challenger for those who. Every day. Yeah, definitely. Every day, all day. But anyway, uh, basically, just customizing the Challenger the way I pretty much did my career. You know, it's my thing. It's gonna be a you know a customized Camaro. You know what I'm saying? I don't got it for speed. It's a V8, 5.7 liter Hemi. Um, that's basically it, man. Right. So basically, he picked up a Chali, and uh, he gonna do his thing to it, man. Now y'all know CJ got his certain style that he does, and that's a full customized style with you know, big wheels. He definitely didn't put on for the big wheel custom culture. Hands down, y'all know that that's what he's known for. But he gonna switch it up for Charlie this time. He didn't did Chargers. He didn't did Camaros. Now he going Charlie. And yeah, here it is. Now y'all already know what this is. Woo! The Red Bone SS. Now look, you rocking forgies now. But for those who don't know, he didn't switch over, man. He didn't became a Rucci uh, designer. Actually, he designed his own set of Rucci wheels and uh, they actually are being manufactured where you can actually pick them up and buy them now. And they his brand wheels. Tell them a little bit about that real quick. Well, well, as you know, um, as I was going 34s, I went to a car show in Indianapolis. They've been trying to get me in the Ruchis, but uh, I talked to the owner, Nick, when I was in Indianapolis and he made things promising, promising and uh, offered me a contract. You know what I'm saying? So they showed me the most love, man. So that's who I got to rock with. The people that, that noticed the small people and show love. Like I said, in my blogs, for you don't give a damn about, you know, the street people and it's facts. They ain't trying to really work with you or none of that. So I'm going to help this movement with the Rucci and, um, it's it's a great thing, man. It's a big accomplishment for me. It is. It's a definitely. big accomplishment. I don't know if y'all seen the wheels. I might shoot Stunner Reese a picture so he can put it right there. But yep. you know y'all see it right there. It's a it's a great accomplishment to have your own wheels with your name on it. Yeah. Not just them saying it or putting it in a book, my name is actually on the wheels. So right. it's a lot of love. The owner stay in contact with me. He asks for my approval or uh disapproval on something that I don't like about it. So now the wheels is Finally done, and me and Stunner Reese probably get the first footage of the wheels at SEMA because that's where they're going to be, like the finished product. Yeah. So, yeah. like I said, it's a great accomplishment, man. It's, it's a great accomplishment, and I'm never going to stop being me or doing me because that's what got me to where I'm at right now. That's right, man. So, y'all make sure y'all check out his new wheels, man. Definitely pick up a set. Y'all definitely, man, we got to support my boy CJ on 32s. Now, back to this comparison, man. Y'all see the Hellcat Yellcat over here, man. Now, first thing off the bat, just looking at the rear of the two cars from the back, you can see that, first and foremost, you know my car is lowered because uh, I put the Eibach Pro Springs on here. But even from the factory, the uh, Hellcats are actually lower than the RTs. So mine is very low compared to his, but... Just to give y'all an idea. Now, one thing you can also see is that I also painted the rear uh, lower valise on mine. And um, I left the gray right there. But, yeah, you can see also that the tips on my car are black compared to the RT. The front. Yeah. Now, another thing you may or may not notice is that there's no rear parking sensors in the RT than there is on the Hellcat Yellcat. So yeah, that's just a little fun fact. Now, also, 
you can see that the spoilers are actually different. Now this one sits lower, uh, and a lot of people, you know, don't know that these Hellcat spoilers, which actually sit higher, actually do have a function of creating more downforce because the car goes a lot faster. This car goes almost 200 miles per hour, so you have to have rear downforce in the rear because you can lose control if you don't have downforce. Also, the Hellcat rear spoiler has a rear view camera as well, if you can see right there. Yep. So, yeah. Now that I showed you that, I'm going to show you a couple more things that uh, is different between the Hellcat and the RT. Now, one small thing is with the RT, if you don't have the upgraded radio, with the camera and stuff then you have a smaller antenna on the top compared to this antenna so okay, okay. now both cars have moon roofs and the body styling on the side is pretty much the same now my car comes with a black gas cap door this comes with a chrome on the Hellcat versus the RT is different. Now coming to the front, the styling differences is, of course, you know, this got the signature Hellcat hood, which they changed for 2019. Uh, they got the new hood, which got the two snorkels like the RT, which is kind of funny they went to that. But yeah. But yep, the Hellcat hood is different. Also, the front fascia is different. Now, you see, I got the snorkels at the bottom. Excuse all the bugs and stuff because, as you can see, I was at the racetrack this weekend. And I still ain't got an opportunity to clean it. But, yeah, you can see that the front fascia is different. It's got the SRT badging. Also, it's got this functional hole right here. Now, I don't know. I'm going to check on his car. But it's got this functional hole right here that actually lets air into the air box to pump more air into the supercharger to make it go quicker. Now, the other thing is, I don't know if you guys noticed, but the RTs have fog lights, which they do not have fog lights on the Hellcats. Now, moving over to the headlight. Nope. This one does not have the opening like the Hellcat. So that is a functional part that they do have on the Hellcat. Now, of course, the brakes. This comes with the big, huge Brembo brakes. And the RT doesn't. But I'm sure he going to do something to his brakes. He always does. And on the rear as well. Yeah, guys, that's pretty much it, man. That's the comparison between the Hellcat versus the RT, man. So definitely let me know in the comment section right now. Now, CJ gonna totally customize this car. Trust me. I'm gonna take you guys with me. Trust me, man.